listening to the Experience Pros Radio Show, where business revolutionaries Angel Tussey and Eric Raymer, best-selling authors of lists that saved my business, and founders of Experience Pros University, are inspiring you to get your business right. Let's join Angel and Eric for today's program. Welcome to the Experience Pros Radio Show with Angel and Eric. Thanks for taking time out of your day to join us for ours. We are broadcasting live from Studio Z, where the view is absolutely gorgeous. It is uh, not bad to live in Colorado. Yeah. We do have a beautiful view of the Rocky Mountains. In fact, I would say that today, the weather in Colorado... Yep is a little i don't know if this is like the right the right way to use this word but have you heard of the word lanyap i have never heard the word lanyap lanyap is that uh, usually at the end of the sentence that says shut yours no 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 oh. no 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 but okay. it is it is it is a word from louisiana from new orleans why are you blinking at me L L lanyap lanyap you should know this word. It Shut means your lanyap. no, no, no. You're gonna yeah, that's be. That's pretty much what you say to me. No, no, no. no. Okay. It's it's a word that originated in Louisiana. All right. It means something extra, or a little more. It's that little something extra when somebody goes out of their way, or it's their way of saying thank you, or expressing expressing uh. appreciation and based on how do you on, use it in a sentence this I, is a lanyap day oh you know i don't know i don't know how do you use it but um Shut like the a front lanyap a, like a baker's dun dozen would yeah. be a form of a lanyap because you're giving a little extra oh okay so but apparently in louisiana in new orleans yeah. where the super bowl was held and it was a big deal yeah and a lot of people are thinking that um are were on the receiving end of a little extra lanyap okay. because in Louisiana hospitality mm -hmm. they go out of their way you meant it, it yeah. is a culture it's all about it's, an experience it, it is it is all about lanyap oh all right yeah yeah so um I actually this uh, this little lanyap moment came to me from our friend coach John Brubaker I like John Brubaker coach brew coach brew he says um he always seeks to incorporate lanyap in his business and you know hopes other people will discover a little bit of appreciation for it too but when we Did all have, say have a little yan lanyap uh, moment there, I, I don't know. Did she? I think she expressed a little. little do you think extra. she expressed the lanyap, yeah. or that the audience? Oh, it's the oh, okay. So it's the way that we respond to it. Well, actually, I don't know. No, neither. You do know I. what? I don't know. Anyways, the idea of here's here's what happens is we get this mindset in in business, and we're always thinking that we don't need to to over deliver. We we we're looking for ways to cut corners. We right. don't really need to give a cookie to every customer that comes gonna in. Increase sales without increasing you know, effort. We're looking for ways to pull back, and we take the stance that well, it's just over servicing the customer really cuts into our bottom line mm -hmm. and so this is the opposite of lanyap there's a line um, according to coach brew where exceptional service and profitability meet but he says i would argue that losing customers because you don't over deliver is what cuts into the bottom line wow so make sure you offer a little lanyap to me today i mean to your customers yeah, I, I went looking at. Uh, by the way, I misspelled it. Uh, looking looking for lanyap in. Uh, it is here's how it's spelled. It's, yeah. it's a. It's not. It it's, doesn't. It's lagniappi. L a g. Yeah. N i a. P p e. Right. L a g n i a p p e. But it's, it's an pronounced... Italian word, lagniappi. I know it's not Italian. I think it's probably more French. Mm, Louisiana French, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I think you're right. Uh, but I went looking for it, and it says uh, something given or obtained gratuitously or by way of good measure. Beyonce absolutely gave Lanyap. I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> on that note, I thought I would share with you. I thought it was funny that you mentioned just before we went live on the air, you said something about the uh, uh, the blackout in the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. You said that the blackout generated how many? Oh. A bunch of, of uh, millions of, yeah, like of tweets. Yeah, like a quarter per million minute. tweets per minute. Right. And I thought, how does a power outage generate anything? Oh. It's the lanyap. It's the lanyap. Actually, I heard a thing about that energy was supposed to be the M or Oh, shoot. Shoot, now I don't remember. That's all right. You know it's somebody out there who who's on Beyonce's staff going, uh, now now that we're done, I can just pull this plug up. Oh. You know, oh, you think that? I think, I think so. Listen to you. You know. Oh, he's in the know. You are you are like Mr. Speculator. You shut your foul lanyap. That is inappropriate use of the word lanyap. Sorry. 
and you are speculating. I just it, you are speculating, spreading lies and rumors, and and rumors. and undermining my my sweet my sweet word with yickiness. It was no, I didn't, didn't mean it yicky. Shut my foul lanyap. Lanyap is something special, a little extra to you. treat. It was just in general. It's giving appreciation. How can that be foul? And you shut my foul lanyap. Not, not yours, lanyap. just in general. I I don't like I don't like your tone today, Mister. You need a little gratitude. Gonna get some gratitude over this commercial break. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the most positive business talk show in America.